Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Tia. What is your name? My name is Juan. Juan, it's nice to meet you. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you too. So, Juan, I'm from the Philippines. And what country are you from? Yeah, I'm from Mexico. Are you in Mexico right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, good. Uh, let's see. Please wait for just one second. Good evening to you. The six thirty-three in the evening. Yes. Yeah. Uh, good evening. How was your day today, Juan? Mm, it was okay. I had mm -hmm. a lot of work, and I finished my, my work um four four minutes ago. So that, that's why I'm I'm I, I'm late. I'm later. How is it? I'm like? late. Uh, late. You're late. Oh no, it's fine. Just three minutes. <laughs> you're good. Mm. You're fine. <laughs> okay. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what is your job? Can could you repeat, please? Uh, what is your job? My job. I'm, I'm mm. a software engineer. My I'm working in QA, quality assurance, oh. uh, like tester quality uh, software engineer. Do you get to work at the company? Like this is something that you cannot uh, work from home for? Japan? Uh What I mean to say is being... Um, a software engineer um, and specifically for quality assurance does that mean you get to work at the company office or can you bring your work home with you yeah okay i i work from home for a company mm, i good. have been working from home for almost four years four years four years yeah oh so years. even before the pandemic uh, yeah exactly Ah, so is it like completely work from home or do you need to go to the office once in a while? Uh, completely from home. I see. How is it? Do you like working from home? I like because I I can mm. to sleep more hours. I have okay. more time for, for other things. Uh -huh. if, if I need it mm -hmm. how is it? if i would need sit if, one second sure no problem okay yeah if i had to go to the office i couldn't to do exercise for example or go with my pets to walk so, yes yeah. It's actually quite understandable, I see. So at least you, you like this, the setup of working from home. In my mm -hmm. case, I have been working from home completely as well for nine mm -hmm. years already. So uh, I used to, uh, well, I, I taught English for, I have been teaching English for nine years. So okay, wow. yeah, two years in another company, uh, also online. And then I've been here in Cambly for seven, so seven years. Um, wow. it's actually seven yeah. years <laughs> yes i've been wow. here for seven years um, i also like working from home just like you but in my case okay. it's because i'm an introvert I, working with others is fine but i like working by myself <laughs> so it has been a problem for uh, it's not really a problem but at least here i could be myself i could be by myself too and just like your um pros or advantages i could sleep whenever um, and i could do other things so and i have kids i i i get mm -hmm. to see my kids grow up because i'm just right here with them <laughs> so that's okay, why okay. yeah well hold on uh if you don't mind me asking why are you learning english um for like a personal goal, uh, because mm -hmm. I, I want to to meet people, uh, foreigner people, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and foreign people, yeah, right? Foreign, foreign people, yes. Yeah. And yeah, I would like to change or look for a, a promotion in my current job or maybe in other company in the future. Mm. Do that, you that, get... Ah, so sorry. 
do you get to uh, use English at work? Can you repeat? Do you get to use English at work? In my current job now, we need to speak mm. Spanish, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I I speak English just or only when I need to talk with, with the tutor from tutors from, from Cambly. Oh, Besides I Cambly, I never use uh, English. Well, it's really good that at least uh, you get to practice um, like a fixed amount of time every week because mm -hmm. you don't get to lose your skills and you get to move forward or improve more. Mm, your English is actually quite clear. Sentences are mostly correct. I was wondering before coming to Cambly, how did you learn English in the past one? In the past, um, mm. Mm, I used to talk with uh, Mormon missionaries uh, at least once a week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. in English sometimes and so, sometimes because they wanted to to learn uh, Spanish and I mm -hmm. helped them with that and they helped uh, me with English uh -huh. but uh, when we finished uh, to to talk um, because they, they had to do other things uh, um, mm, I used yes. to use, yeah, I used to use um, Duolingo for grammar. Oh, okay. Yes. And, okay. Duolingo is actually quite nice. Yeah, when you have to uh, learn some grammar or check your sentence structure. So mm -hmm. it's also good. It seems like you really would like to learn English a lot. Mm. Uh, in Mexico, how old are students the first time they learn English at school? Could you repeat the, the first part? Sorry, I am not using my, my headphones, so that's why I can't hear oh, that's you. Okay. Clearly. Yes. In Mexico, um, how old are students the first time they learn English at school? In the secondary. The secondary is like the high school, probably. High school, yes, that's mm -hmm. right, the high school. So that's where English learning starts? Yeah. Oh, it's, okay. it's the most usual. It, it depends, actually, because now the some schools, they can teach you English since you are maybe three years old or five years old. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it depends. Sometimes you need to pay more money you need to pay a private private school a private, private school private, yeah, private. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, i understand i see are you happy with the way they teach english in mexican schools not really <laughs> okay because sometimes the teacher they can't speak the language very well mm. um, uh, over all the pronunciation is not the best. Mm, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. In your case, though, you can speak so well. So you probably have done so much practice or so many uh, mm -hmm. practices for you to get where you are right mm -hmm. now. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you said that you're a software engineer. How mm -hmm. many years have you been working as a software engineer in general? In general, uh, nine years. Wow, that's quite a long time too. Yeah. <laughs> Do yeah. you like being a software engineer? I like it. I enjoy my, my job. That's good. That's really good. Mm. <laughs> I wonder, when you were younger, what was your dream job, Juan? In my main job? Dream job. When you were a kid, ah, my dream job, yeah. my dream job, yeah, yes, yeah, it's my dream job. I think I would like to, to, yeah, I would like to grow up in the career. Does it make sense? I want to uh, move forward or improve in my improve, career. Yeah, improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, improve. Yeah, you know, uh, to learn other other technologies, other things, other method methodologies. Yes. Yeah, but. 
I think that this is the correct way. Mm, I see. Okay. Being a software engineer. I actually have a mad respect for, of course, all jobs in the world. But for software engineers, I heard it could be a bit difficult. The studies and then um, finally the job. I think it's really impressive what you do as a software engineer. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, but uh, mm. I'm, I'm not really good with computers nor technology in general. So <laughs> that's okay. why I'm also very impressed with your job. Is it busy? Like, is it hectic? You said busy? Busy, yes. Being yeah. a software engineer. Mm. Yeah, it's... it's... <laughs> Uh, people who are working in computer systems, mm. they are um, almost always busy. Mm, in your case, how many days are your days off? Uh, two days. Uh, we we work um, uh, Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Ah, okay. So during the weekends, what do you like to do? to relax or to, you know, distress? Um, I study sometimes. Uh, okay. Yeah, on, I, I do other things in me, in my computer, mm -hmm. uh, other projects. Mm -hmm. Or just relax with movies or go out to a restaurant mm -hmm. or go with my friends. I see. So it really does depend on what you feel at the moment mm -hmm. doing. Mm, are you more of an outgoing person or do you like staying home more? I like stay home more. <laughs> uh, more than when I was younger. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. I <laughs> maybe, definitely understand. Maybe the problem now is my age or I don't know. I'm married. Yeah, yeah. So I need to mix or I don't co combine, combine or combine, or, combine, or, yeah, combine my time with my wife. Ah, yeah, I understand. Yes, because you have to make time for her too, or your free time is, you know, it has to include her too. So definitely, I do understand. Mm. Yeah, in my case, I'm also more of an inside person even if my job is inside i was just wondering because i also have a lot of uh, students who work from home even before the pandemic and i i wonder what it's like for them when it's their day off are they mm. sick of being inside all the time that they like going out or this is really something that they like doing so they like staying inside even during their break so in your case staying in you like that at least Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. What activities do you like doing at home? Other than movies, do you like to play video games or video games game? sometimes? Because, like I, I said before, I'm married, but my wife she doesn't like um, to play games or video games. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. My brother, he was living or he lived. He lived. Yeah, he, he lived. For, for for a while here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but now he he's living with my parents he he has uh the his own house mm -hmm. but in, in other city ah okay mm -hmm. i see so i don't like to play just myself that that would be not that fun if you did <laughs> yeah exactly. yeah so i understand if you would like to play with your uh with somebody else as well mm -hmm. As for, yeah, as for video games, what's your favorite game? I play just uh, FIFA, uh, football, soccer. Football. Oh, you know, the last time I played video games was when I was really young, and the main game was Mario. <laughs> you said when you were really young? Yes. Like you, you look young. Oh, thank you for that. You look young too, but I'm, I mean, I'm not that old, but I'm not young young i'm already 33 so okay. that's i don't know what to call it you're still you, young you but not young enough oh, <laughs> i see i thought you were like 
my age or around 30. Right, so you're older okay. than me. Ah, okay. I thought you were like around is, 30. I, yes. I am 34. Oh, you're only a year older than me. So mm -hmm. you're still young too. Mm. But what, mm -hmm. I, what I mean to say is like younger, like child, young. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the last time I played video games was when Mario was still very popular in the 90s. Wow. More. Yeah. Wow. Like, video games are a bit expensive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. And the, I the have. Consoles. Mm, the consoles are really expensive. And I, during. During the pandemic, when the PS PS Five, I don't know mm -hmm. what PS number is it. When it came out, I saw all of my guy friends wanting one, going after one. So I'm like, okay, I wish I could do the same. Yeah. Although I do like video games, I'm just a bit careful because I have two boys. They're very young okay. still. I have a three year old and a one year old. I would love for them to play video games, but you know how kids are when they're at a certain age, probably when they're like six or seven, they might get hooked and, you know, not get out of it completely okay. So mm -hmm. uh, even if I want to play video games, I have to be very careful because of my kids. <laughs> so that's why. Yeah. Oh, do you have kids, Juan? No, yet. Um, mm -hmm. Or I don't know how... Uh, but I don't know the the answer because my wife is pregnant. It's preg pregnant. Pregnant. pregnant? Oh yeah, yeah pregnant. you could say not yet, but uh, not yet. you could say I have one on the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have one on the way. Yeah, congratulations! By the way, I have one. Thank you. No problem. Do you already know if it's going to be a boy or a girl? We don't know. We we don't know. No yet. Ah, I see. Early. It's still early in the pregnancy. Congratulations. Um, mm. Not really. Um, we will have like a meeting with uh, the doctor? close, uh, yeah, with close friends, uh, family. Mm -hmm. Close or closer? Close. Close. Yeah. Close. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, you have dogs. I remember you said something about walking your dogs, and I heard your dogs. Mm, how are you preparing your dogs for the um, arrival of your baby? I think it is completely different. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love. We love to or or pets. Mm -hmm. We have three dogs. Three. Ah, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. three and. Obviously, I think some things it it would be or should be to change. Uh, it, will be, it, should, it, it should, should change. Be, it should change. Yes. Or some things should change, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's yeah, for, right. For, because uh, my dogs, they are living inside all the time. They are all the time inside. Mm -hmm. So the baby sometimes they uh, can to get sick or how you say that? They might get sick. Uh huh. They might make get sick. They might get sick. Um, okay. If they have too much time with the dog, like if they interact yeah. with the dog. Ah, I and see. And the the polvo. Hmm. Do you mean the fur? The dust. dust. The dust or the fur or the dust. I see. Actually, I could understand. Um, before I gave birth to my first son, I had 10 dogs in this house. Wow. Yeah, and they would usually run inside and out of the house as well. So my husband and I were wondering, how are we going to deal with this? <laughs> because um, the baby might get sick uh, we were more worried about the fur at that time since wow. most of our dogs have a lot of fur because i i we have a chow chow or we had a chow chow and then a mix of chow chow and maltese but mm -hmm. one of our dogs um is a sharpie they don't have hair <laughs> so um it was okay but we have more dogs that have hair than don't have hair 
So we were wondering what to do. Although in the end, we just ended up having our baby stay inside this room most of the time, 90%. Uh, but, you know, it was kind of weird when we have to take him to the dining room. It's like uh, he was not used to it when he was growing up. But when I had my second son, it was different. <laughs> um, our dogs are just seven now because some of them died, unfortunately. So um, I know your concern is about the hair or um, probably what they have that the baby could have. And that's that's a legitimate concern. So just do what you think is best. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And why, why do you have 10 dogs? Oh, we love dogs. Okay. <laughs> mm. And also, we started out with two dogs. Uh, or no, sorry. One, two, one, two, three. We started out with three dogs. Um, but when our dogs started giving birth, so usually we have them adopted by someone. Um, we choose very carefully who will adopt them because we don't want them to end up in the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. And But we have to do that two months before they're supposed to be given because puppies can't be given after they're born. They're supposed to be given like after two months. By that time, they can eat by themselves and they don't rely milk on uh, rely on milk anymore but we already find people to adopt in that some people they would go through with the adoption other people would cancel the last minute and since it's already difficult to look for people to adopt it becomes more difficult to look for re replacements and sometimes we can find replacements sometimes we can't so that's why we ended up with a lot of dogs the others were not adopted or the person who was about to adopt canceled, and we couldn't find a replacement for the person. So we ended up with a lot of dogs. Oh, yeah. They, they are a lot of dogs. Yeah. In our case these days, what we do is we just, um, we have one dog inside the house, but they don't, they're not allowed to go inside the room anymore. This okay. bedroom, because um, mm -hmm. the fur. And my second son, my one-year-old, is a bit braver than my first one he likes to to uh, because i remembered i took him to the living room and we placed him on his sleeper or his wing i when i looked over again because uh the inside dog um went out of the other room usually the inside dog is in the other room <laughs> but uh, of mm -hmm. course he walks around for uh free around here free he went to the living room and he was sitting right beside the baby. Uh, our inside dog doesn't like kids. So he usually, okay. yeah, he usually tends to stay away from them. She's a bit wow. scared of people. Yeah. So my baby was doing that towards my, my dog's mouth. I was like, no, but my dog, I didn't have to say no because my dog was like, and then. She... <laughs> so, yeah, they tend to be a bit, the babies tend to be a bit, you know, um, braver so uh in your could case, you repeat that that word please oh brave uh-huh hmm. um, okay brave when you have to Valiente. Hair, braver and bravest okay. for superlative yeah so yeah um what we do now is we just separate our dogs um from our kids uh some of our dogs they run free in our uh front yard and then two of our dogs who are sweet actually but are very difficult during feeding we put them in the garage which is also a bit of a space they have some space to run around and play so that's what we do just to make sure that the, the kids will be safe mm. yeah wow. and for our baby we didn't put him outside until he was like three months to six months so uh he's just inside and then if I need sunlight, they need sunlight during the first month. So I would take him out, but then we'll take him back inside afterwards. <laughs> so that's what we did. We're having having to coexist with the dogs, it can be a bit difficult and tricky. Yeah. What what time is it's it's over there? Oh, it's a uh, seven fifty eight in the morning. In the morning. Mm. Wow. Yeah. How many how many hours are 
are you in front of your computer? Oh, this is my first hour. I usually start teaching at 7 a.m. And then mm -hmm. I stop I stop after, uh, I stop at 8 a.m. I take uh -huh. a two hours break, I go back okay. to 10, 10, and then stop after an hour again, go back at 12, and then start teaching again at 2. So that's why I like working from home. I get breaks. Is it hard for you, this schedule? No, actually, it works perfectly for me. Mm, because after after this class is my two hour break, so okay. I get to eat breakfast and I get to cook. Sorry about that. Those are my neighbors' <laughs> dogs and my dogs at the same okay. time. My neighbors also have a lot of dogs in front of me. Okay. I think they have five dogs too. I am not so sure. Wow. So they usually do this when one of the sellers uses like a squeaky toy passing by. So it's weird. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, for me, I get to eat breakfast during my two-hour break, prepare my mm -hmm. kids' food um, around that time, and then go back to work at nine. It, it's only difficult if I don't have a helper or a babysitter in this house. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have one, um, but of course she needs help too. So I, one of the kids has to stay inside this room. <laughs> when Isn't the I babysitter have... expensive? In the Philippines? If you're in the middle class, not so much. Uh, it's actually quite common to look for a helper in the Philippines and find one. But it's hard to find a good help these days. Okay. So yeah. um, what, what is the currency in Philippines? Is it more than a dollar? Uh, one peso is equal to 57 dollars no no so sorry that was wrong <laughs> one dollar <laughs> one dollar is equal to 57 pesos the and there was an increase what can you buy with 57 pesos mm, that's a good question um probably one pack of candies like one pack of 30 pieces candies so a couple of junk food some vegetables um, you could buy some good amount of vegetables already with 57 pesos. I think that's a good perspective, actually. There are a lot of things that you could buy, but it would be not so much in quantity. Okay, okay. Mm. Tia is your name, right? My nickname, Tia. but yes. Okay, I would like to ask you something. Go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. um, usually, uh, I share my calls on my social media to invite people to use Cambly. I share the video and mm -hmm. your tutor, the tutor's profile, in this case, your, your profile, to invite yes. people to, to call you on, and you to, or just to use Cambly. Uh -huh. oh, but Cambly says, say I need your consent. Like, ah, you would like to post our video on your profile? Uh -huh. That's OK. That's fine. OK. And thank you for asking by the way. Okay. I yeah. appreciate it. Mm, no problem. Uh, so do you usually upload videos of your classes on uh, your social media? Could you repeat? Uh, do you usually upload your classes on the social media, videos of your classes on social yeah, media? Yeah, I post the video. Mm. You brought the video in, in my mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Oh, you have a YouTube channel. That is so cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. after I share the link in my profile in Facebook and mm. in some groups of yes. Facebook, um, we are a lot of people who want to to learn the language. So yes. this kind of video, they can help them with mm. the listening, with the, their understanding. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's um, mm. how it works the word. <laughs> <laughs> it's different yeah it's different because it's not the same you are learning with duolingo for example it's yeah, different I, when you need to talk with someone talking true. with a lot of words and expressing so I, your ideas i've learned with duolingo because i wanted to learn korean so i know what you mean <laughs> duolingo is actually quite great but as i said earlier it it's good for grammar and sentence structure as is well. it hard? Is it hard, the Korean language? 
for me not so much okay, <laughs> not wow. so much yeah oh our time is up for one good job Thank by you. the way have a I good see you evening soon.